Okay. And now, because this isn't a property of the image, if I was to open another image and not see if any data files, then all this information would be lost. So what I would like you to do is to get into the habit at a very early stage of not working just with isolated images and saving data files based upon these, but creating projects, and that will help manage all of your files together. So now we'll move back onto the project tab and we'll start being a bit more systematic in building up the approach to working with images in QPath. So a project is basically a folder that QPath really manages itself to keep all your data files in. So what we need to do is to create an empty folder, call it whatever you like. I press the create project button within QPath. I then find that folder, select it. And I have a project, not particularly interesting at this point, but now if I open another image, if I drag it onto QPath, it will ask, do I want to add it to the project? If it's a yes, then you will see it start to appear. And I can do this for multiple images and then add them all into the project. As with a lot of things, if I have to do something a lot and I don't want to, then I'll probably add a feature for some way to make it easier. In this case, to add a lot of images to the project, there is an add images button. And I can press choose files at the bottom. I will then go and find where these images are. Open them within QPath and then import them. And so that's an easier way to add multiple images at one time. And now as I can open them much more easily just by selecting them through double clicking in this project tab. And if I leave my mouse on top of an image, I get to see a larger preview thumbnail and a little bit more information about it. And in a second, we're gonna look at these annotation tools, but I'll just immediately draw a rectangle now and show one of the benefits of having a project is if I now, having done something to the image, want to open another image, it will ask if I want to see if the changes, if I say yes, then the next time I open the image, the annotation that I drew is immediately going to be displayed to me. And so the way in which this works is that inside the project folder, QPath has created a number of subfolders, a number of files, and the key one here is this data folder, and that's where our annotation is actually stored. So for each image in our project, we have a data file, and that contains all our annotations, or later potentially all our cells and anything else that we have related to the image. And so the, what this means is if you want to back up your project or if you want to back up your data, you really just need to copy this folder or you can copy the entire project folder. And the way in which I would often back up a project is I just right click on it and I would choose send to compressed zipped folder. And then this would create a backup of everything inside. And then I know that if I mess up my project in some way, I can unzip the zipped file that I've got and then I can get back the files that I need. So the other important file in here, so thumbnails, really just is these preview images, scripts, won't have anything in it at this point. But the other key part of this project is this project file, which I can open with a text editor. So I have Atom installed here. And this shows you that the project itself is not particularly complex. So within this file, we just have a path to where the images are that I added and name of the image. The name of the image is initially derived from this path. You could modify it potentially if you wanted to, and it corresponds to the name of the data file as well. And so there's a couple of things, a couple of reasons why this is important. Firstly, you might wonder what happens if you add two images with the same name, and I would say nothing, nothing good happens at the moment. So at this point, QPath doesn't resolve that in any smart way. So you should avoid having two images with the same name in your project. In the future, there might be steps to address it, but at the minute, the image name should be unique. Secondly, you can see that there's the path to the original image, and that means that if I was to move this, this folder, um, or delete these images, then I would no longer be able to open them within QPath. So the project itself doesn't contain the image data, the images remain where they were whenever I added them. 
you can actually see that by if I hover over this you can see that the folder containing the images is almost five gigabytes in size whereas the project folder is just a few hundred kilobytes and so it's a much smaller QPath doesn't copy the images it just has that link to them or the path to them which is stored within this project file therefore if I was to move the images somewhere else the links would no longer work and the project would appear to be broken there's two ways in which you can fix that the first is that you can open this in a text editor and you can modify the paths so that they point to where the images now are. The other thing that you can do is you can create an entirely new project with all the images added from the current location. And as long as the image names remain the same, you can just copy the data folder from your old project into the new project and then all the data will be transferred over. And so by understanding a little bit about how the projects work, it can help if you need to recover them for some reason or if you need to modify them to, to deal with some issue that it could occur, for example, if your images change the locations.